Hello, YouTube. West Coast Scrapper are in here. Sorry about the squeaky chair. <laughs> I love my squeaky chair. Um, anyway, um, this video is, um, I'm just going to kind of go through um, my altered paintbrush that I made. Um, I made this paintbrush for Lori Moore's um, July-August challenge about using um, unused stuff. Um, and it's Lori D. Moore at Moore Art from the Heart, M-O-O-R-E, Art from the Heart. And um, go check her out. She's a good friend of mine, and she's got a really good art fire store, and she is an amazing, talented artist. Um, anyway, she had a little contest, and this was my entry for her contest. And so I just thought I'd go over it with you guys. Um, some people wanted to see how I made it and what the story behind it is, because it's a little different. Um, my mother is an artist. She's a painter and, um, wasn't always in her retirement. She's become a painter and she's become a fantastic painter. And, um, so what I did was I had in mind to create a paintbrush for her and I put a spin on it by putting this little easel and canvas on it. And this picture is a photograph that I took and shrank down. It's not the whole thing, but it's part of a photo. It's part of um, a photograph of one of her paintings um, that she she did quite a while ago. And um, so I did a transfer onto those little. This is the little mini, um, the little mini canvas and easel that um, I think I got at Michaels. Michaels or Craft Warehouse. Anyway, it's just a little wooden easel. It's about three and a half inches by three and a half inches or so, three and a quarter. Yeah, about three and a half by three and a half inches. And um, I bought a few of those, so I thought this would be really cute. So I put a painting on a paintbrush. <laughs> so that's my little spin, and this is for my mom. And this is all about my mom. And um, when I think of my mom, I think of the color pink. I don't know why, I just always have. She's very feminine and loves the color pink and um, is a breast cancer survivor. And so when I think of my mom, I think of pink. So I, I did everything in, a, in different shades of pink. I'm just gonna pull it up here so you can actually get an idea of what it looks like. I had a lot of fun making this. So I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you what I did and how I did things on this paintbrush. Um, this paintbrush is um, a, a pretty big one. I mean, it's, you know, it's the size of your hand. I think it's what, a, probably a four, four inch by four inch, probably eight inches long. Um, and what I did originally when I got it, it had, you know, the metal silver band and the cream colored, straw colored um, bristles. So first thing I did was I sanded the handle clear down to the metal. I sanded all the varnish off of it so that it would take, um, so that it would take the gesso. So I gessoed the handle from the metal up, got that gessoed, took one of my stencils, and it's the stencil about, let's see, it's from, hang on, I'm going to kind of back up here. I don't, I'm not working with my tripod. Of course, I'm not working with my tripod. I never do because my camera sucks. It's a TCW 6x6 template, and this is the one about art. It's the script about art. So that is the stencil that I used. And what I did is I just um, put some molding paste. Sorry about the bumpy video. My I'm using my my new smartphone because my camera, my little camera that I've been using for all of my hundreds of videos on my other channel and this one, this little Samsung, is finally giving it up. It won't focus. <laughs> so, I, I'm not into blurry videos. So, anyway, I digress. So what I did is I stenciled the front and the back. I also decorated the, you know, you probably get a better view of the back. There's the back. I stenciled the handle with modeling paste and my little stencil and I let it dry and while that was drying I came down and I did a couple of different things with these bristles because these bristles are not made to, to take color. 
<laughs> they're kind of they kind of are made to repel color. So I first started out with glimmer mist, and the glimmer mist just lightly tinted it, and I lost most of the glimmer mist off onto the you know napkin. And so then I pulled out, I thought, hmm. So I tried a couple of different colors. I tried Lindy's. Um, I tried Lindy's Stamp Gang, different colors of pinks, and I tried um, Tattered Angels. That didn't work. So I reverted to my paint drawer. And this worked. This is Picked Raspberry Distress Paint by Tim Holtz. And what I did was I just put some out on my little craft thing and I got um, a paintbrush, a fairly wide paintbrush. And these were all, it was already kind of starting to take some of the other pink color and it was wet. And so I didn't even have to wet this down. And this is really bright. I mean, to tell you, whew, it's bright. And so I just dry brushed the paint over the the existing wetness of the brush and it took it took the color and it came out very nice and even and it came out really pretty so that's how I did the the bristles of the brush so after that was done and I was letting it air dry I moved on to the metal and as you can see this metal is kind of hot pink, bright pink. I did that with alcohol ink because I didn't want it to be silver. I wanted everything to be pink or shades of pink. And so I used, you know, I should have had the foresight to actually pull all my products back out that I used. I used my Adirondack ink and the color that I used for that is Wild Plum. So I used Wild Plum, alcohol ink, and a sponge and just sponged it on to the metal of the paintbrush. And it turned out fantastic. It's just a really deep, gorgeous, bright pink, lovely color. And I kind of wanted the swirlies in there, so I just kind of dabbed it. So after that was done, I went back up to the handle. And by now my um, my modeling paste was dry, and so I went back over and got my Shimmer Mist, my Tattered Angels Shimmer Mist, and I used Vintage Pink, I think. <laughs> and I just lightly misted it so that it would just get into the, just get into the crevices. And I just kind of, I misted it and let it run off. And then hit it with my heat gun just to freeze it where some of them were pooled. And so basically it just pooled around the letters and that's the effect I wanted and it worked really well. And it gave just enough hint of color where it didn't overpower it. It still has that shabby look that I was after, that really light pink shabby distressed look. So then next I got out some, I don't even know what this is called, Chinese braid sort of or whatever this is called. It's flat, it's not I think it's called Chinese braid, but you guys, I'm not even, I'm not even certain what this is. But anyway, it's just some beautiful lace white trim that I have. And I just went around the whole top of the handle, down the side, and around the band. And I ended it back here in the middle. Then I went into my lace drawer and I got this beautiful lace that I have no idea where I got. It's just a snippet of piece of lace I had. And I cut some off. And I wrapped it around um, the brush and just I just hot glued it right to the very bottom of the metal and just put a couple little tacks of hot glue where it overlapped a little bit. So that's how I did that. Then I started on my canvas and I had done the night before I had done a transfer um, onto the onto this canvas. So um, I did a transfer of a photograph and it's kind of muted. I kind of muted it and kind of made it, I didn't want it super sharp. So um, the actual painting is much sharper and you know, much more like a painting. I mean, this is more 
I kind of wanted to fuzz this out a little bit and give it the the look of being shabby and, and, and old and distressed. And so you can see right here where I rubbed a little hard and got some of the transfer off. And there's another piece over here, you know, because when you transfer, you rub all the paper off. So I transferred the photograph onto here with some gel medium. And then I covered it because I wanted to get that, I wanted to have the look of brush stroke in it um, because it's a painting. And so I covered it with Mod Podge, with matte Mod Podge, and it just gave enough where you can just see um, the canvas underneath. So I wanted it to look like a canvas, and it did. So then next I started on my little wooden um, easel, and I just sprayed this with um, the same spray as I used on the handle. It's a very light pink, and it has a, you can't see it in here, it does have a gold shimmer to it, a very light gold shimmer. And I just let it dry, I just hit it with my heat gun and let it dry. And then I got these letter, this sentiment out. Um, this is one of the sentiments that I got from Sock Crafters, along with this little banner that says Dream. And this little, and I just love these. These are gonna be my signature piece, I swear. Um, this little heart with an arrow. I love, love, love these. And I gessoed all three of these. And then I started with my stickles. <laughs> and this one gave me all sorts of, of guff because these are uh, lightly indented. It's a recess, what do you call that, a, uh, a relief. And so the end of the stickles was a little bit too big to get into some of these little crevices. So what I did was I went, hmm, Okay, I just filled it all in. You couldn't even see what it said. <laughs> and I took my little ranger. This is actually a scraper. And I just took and scraped it off and it left behind in the indents the stickles. And I used a very, very light pink for that one. I used um, cotton candy for that. Then I went down here and after this was dry and I just had gessoed the whole thing, I wanted this to be more of the color of the metal because I wanted to bring out that color. So that one I used magenta. And then on this one, I wanted it kind of a medium pink. So I stickled that one with Is this one thistle so those are the three pinks that I used to do this and then of course you know none of my projects are complete without I am roses because <laughs> I love my roses and so I just got out a few different kinds of roses I've got some I think these are t um, 20 millimeter could be more 20 I can't even I don't even know. They're like a half an inch to three quarters of an inch wide. And uh, some of the little ones, and I put three little ones right here, different different shades of pink. And then two more here with a little banner. I think this is a Tim Holtz. It's got little loops in the end of it so that you can like put a banner through it, or I mean a ribbon through it. And this one just says, reality has limits, imagination is boundless. And so that's what I did there. Just hot, um, that one I think I E6000. I hot glued this one down and hot glued that. And then I hot glued the canvas to uh, the easel. And then obviously I glued the easel to the back, to the paintbrush. And then the charm. I just put together this little charm. I just had I just got some of my chain out and I put together this little charm. And these charms represent everything that I love about my mother. Um my mom loves to travel, so I put a suitcase. She loves her birds. Um my mother's yard and property is like a bird sanctuary because she feeds all kinds of birds and they're just it's amazing to watch. Um, she is a fantastic seamstress to the point of, like, she used to make people wedding dresses and stuff, like, 
hired out when I was little. She was, she's a fantastic seamstress. She's one of those that, um, she should have been a designer because she can, you know, I mean, she'll just sit down with some paper, make her own pattern. And I can remember years and years ago, if her, if she and my dad went to uh, a fancy, you know, night out or something, she would make a ball gown. I'm not even joking with you. It was, it's insane. And they were always beautiful. And she is always very in, you know, this is where the boot comes in. She's very, um, she's kind of a fashionista. I can't even say it. She's always very, you know, coiffed and put together. And um, she's an angel. So I put an angel wing because my mother is an angel. She's one of the most loving, caring persons I've ever had the privilege of meeting or knowing. And a green thumb, I'm going to tell you, my mother's gardens are insane. Her flowers are beyond gorgeous. And so I put a flower pot there. My mother's very spiritual. And so I put a cross there. Time, because she has always made time. She's always had time for everyone and everything. She, she will make time. And then this owl is because she's very wise and gives good advice. And I always trust that what she says and um, the advice that she gives me or the wisdom that she imparts to me is, you know, something I need to pay attention to. So the owl is because she's wise. And then I put this. These are all just kind of metal and shiny. I just hit them with a little gesso just to take the shine off of them a little bit. I didn't want to, I want them to look kind of shabby, but I left this one alone. And this is a pink. It's such, this, this is, this little heart is so gorgeous. I don't know if my camera's going to focus here. Let's see if I can zoom it. There. I love, love, love this little heart. And it's got pink rhinestones and white rhinestones with filigree and then the back is all filigree and I just love this charm I have no idea where I got it I haven't I don't know where I bought it but it reminds me of my mom <laughs> so I went ahead and put it on her charm so that is what I made and this is going to hang in her art studio in her painting studio I hope that's where I made it for so she can think of me when she sees it just like I think of her when I see her paintings that are all over my house <laughs> but anyway that is my almost 18 minutes of showing you what I how I did this for a challenge and unfortunately I didn't win <laughs> I didn't win any of the prizes but um, you know whatever <laughs> it it is what it is and it gave me the opportunity to go ahead and make something I probably otherwise wouldn't have thought to make but I just had this idea of oh a paintbrush my mom's a paint oh my mom's a painter I should use one of my little easels and that's how this was born and and this this is what I came up with and I'm super happy with it and she saw the entry on it's you know no surprise now because I she's already seen it and she loves it and it um, it was she was touched when she saw it so that's it thank you for watching my video I will have another video I'm gonna kinda go through some things I've done around here and I just haven't really had time with school getting ready to start and everything so um, I'm going to attempt to do another video probably tomorrow or no probably Tuesday when my son's at school and my husband's at work <laughs> and I will do another video and let everybody know where in the heck I have been because I haven't been making videos. I haven't been making videos on any of my channels because um, this is not my only channel. And um, I've just, it's been a rough year for me and so I'm still going through some things. And so stay tuned and uh, I'll have a couple more videos going. But thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care. Keep calm and scrap on.